to working on the 4K. Uh, today's task is to try and get ready to pull the motor and trans. Um, first job I got to do is get out the, the drive shaft. So we'll uh, set up for that. Shorty. the uh, shifter linkage off. When I first built this car a long time ago, you, know, you can see sort of the bad camera work, but you know the floor is all, you know, and the tunnel and everything is all custom. Uh, and uh, in order to try and make my life easier, I actually made a removable panel uh, that sits on top of the tunnel there. So I'm going to pull that cover off and uh, disconnect the shift linkage from the trans. I'm going to leave the shift linkage in the, in the car because the same shift linkage will work on the O1E. So i so pulling out some bolts. Set this up so you can see something at least. Thank you. 
Whoa. Air dryer always comes on at the best time. It is cold in the shop today. Uh, it's about five degrees outside here in Detroit, snowy, and uh, the shop's at about 37 degrees. But uh, the motor is about ready to come out. So let's see if we can't make that happen.
eventual life of the always exotic police cow. It's all glamour. So the motor's out. Finally, put up a bit of a fight, mostly remembering what I did because I did this so long ago and uh, fought me a little bit. But uh, came out pretty good. So you know, this is the, uh, when I built this, you know, I never finished wrapping this harness, but you know, everything is through these uh, motorsport connectors. And uh, you know, in the, the firewall up there, here you can see, you know, those, those are the two motorsport connectors, fuel back and front from the tank. There's another motorsport connector over there and a, a positive battery line. Now I can do some cleaning in here and uh, pull the drive shafts out, pull the wheels off. Um, diff can come out next and the mufflers can come out because uh, this diff is being replaced with one on the pallet over there. And then I'll split this this trans off this motor, my flywheel and clutch off this motor, and uh, then I can start working on the RS, the B7 RS4 motor to go in here. I'm um, probably going to have to do something to make the headers fit. Um, I don't think I'm going to run the RS4 intake. I'm thinking that I might run this on ITBs. Definitely going to ditch the direct injection go to traditional fuel injection if i do do itbs i'll probably do high mount injection on that and uh you know, start getting ready to think about fitting this thing in place of that thing now i'm just going to clear up a little bit